So here we are with another 50 millimeter lens. Another. I know that I've, I'm, my collection is growing. So Vitapal have sent us this to review, and this hasn't been released yet. It's released next week. It's the 50 millimeter 1.8. And it's their first autofocus lens. And so we're going to put it through its paces today. And it's got really tough, tough competition because it's got the Nikon 51.8, which is one of their first lenses, but it's and one of their sharpest. It's one of their best, Arguably. especially one of their best value for the price. I don't usually start with the price of the lens. That usually comes at the end. But this, I think this is the main feature of this lens. So cheap. I want, it's cheap. <laughs> so, because it, obviously the rest of the video from a review is based on it being. In the context of it being a, 200 pounds a more accessible lens financially yeah 200 yeah. quid 200 pounds wow for 1.8 autofocus lens and what's one of these brand new that's nearly 600 pound brand new okay. or 400 pound on the used market right so it's like a double the price or Which three quite, times the price quite a lot for a nifty 50 isn't it because normally the 50 is one of their cheapest lenses to make presumably because they make loads of them i don't know but anyway so it's 600 quid straight 400 quid yeah. plays 200 quid yeah okay Let's jump into the build quality. So it's a metal lens, yep. and it's quite a longer lens. As you can probably see, it's quite a bit longer. It like that. It's, it's about uh, 15 millimeter longer. I've measured it. But so then it has got an extra ring on it, which this hasn't, because it's got an aperture ring on it. It's got the aperture ring on it. And the other, well, what we, you, we were saying earlier is that they're really stiff. They are stiff to move, yeah. And I like aperture rings, but I'm not sure I would use this because it's so stiff. But also, you like clickable ones, like I do. Yeah. It's not clickable. No, so. and the focus ring is really stiff. Maybe there's a bit of oil in it, but so... <laughs> mm. WD-40, probably not. And the other thing with the build quality is this... The autofocus manual focus switch is yeah it's not really a switch there's no definite click either each side so you and you said you've knocked it several already times a couple when of times, i because yeah. when i was doing my tests i kept on changing the lenses obviously and to grip yeah. it i thought why isn't it focusing this is rubbish but then i realized it's the switch Until, yeah but it looks like it's well made it looks yeah like it's, it's a metal uh, lens it's yeah, it weighs yeah. about the same as that so, lens just a bit longer yeah. Uh, I'm not sure it's weather sealed. No, so I mean, you can feel, you can definitely feel the rubber right. gasket on this. No, no, I don't think there's one and there. You can't no. find one there. Feel so like it's not that. weather sealed, but it has a USB socket for updates. Oh, okay. But generally it's, it's, it's a well-made It looks made the part, though. It, it does nice. look the part. Yeah. Yep, yeah. So when I came to the review the lens test, yep. I started, you know, I just put it on a tripod, switch over the lenses, and looking at the review, the results, they look different focal lengths. Really? So, yeah, I, was, I think this is about 53, 54 mil. Oh, okay. Every time I switch the lens over, there's no reason for well, it to Well, how do you change. know that's not a proper 50 and this one's slightly less? It could be. It could be the Nikon unlikely, lens is Unlikely, I off, guess. Unlikely. But it's unlikely, because yeah. when I use that against my 51.2, yeah. it was the same. But they could both... Yeah, so it's more mm. likely this is about a 53, 54. I had a 55, 1.4, and I got a bit annoyed with the actual... Because it was too close. Yeah. Was for you. So you have to be careful. So it's mm. about 54. So if you see my examples, they're not exactly lined up. That's... That's why, basically. Right. But sharpness, um, I think this is one of its highlights as well. It's a really sharp lens. I, I mean, I have to go 100%, 150% to see the differences. Although when I sent you blind tests, yeah. I didn't label them. I sent you three different ones. Yeah. And what, what, what did you think? Well, I looked, I looked at them. I thought I'll make a, a quick decision because sometimes with these things, the more you stare at it, you start. Mm. But they just looked, you sent me three. Yeah. And I thought the one on the right in each case of the three pairs was the Nikon. I thought it looked marginally sharper. And I mean, this is a really, really sharp mm. lens. Yeah. I think that that's, with the, all these lenses on the Z Man, they, mm. they, whoever makes them, whatever they are, whatever price they are almost, they're mm. all quite closely matched, I think. Yeah. You're at the margins, yeah. aren't you? So, um, well, I think so when it comes to sharpness, it's not that much different. No, I think if you want a sharp yeah. lens, and this is sharp, no yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, with the edges, the Nikon does take over quite a bit. The Nikon's always a bit ahead. Image rendition. Now, this is where the lens starts to crumble a bit. Okay, what's your so, definition of image rendition, then? The vignetting right, okay. is quite heavy at right. 1.8, but actually I was surprised, I forgot, that has the... Does it be, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1.8. At 2.8 that clears up quite a lot. Right. This takes 2.8 f4. Easily correctable, obviously. But well, not really. I think, it? no, I put them in, I have automatic lens corrections on my Lightroom and it yeah. struggled to deal with both of them to be fair. It has a bit of lens distortion. It's hard to figure out what distortion. I think it's pincushion in the middle yeah. and then expands 
distorts towards the edges. And then the worst culprit of this lens failure is the lens sun flare. Right. So I was doing my video tests and the sun came out. And did it, it come with a lens hood actually? It did. And you were yeah. losing that? Yeah, yeah. Well, right. with a video test I didn't, or blanket white shade this, on it. Did you do the same with it? Much better. Okay. Yeah, right. and it was exactly the same time. But the next day I put the lens hoods on and it was still sunny. Yeah. It's better, but it's but still, still a difference. It's, it's yeah. almost unusable when really? the sun coming into the lens with this lens. And that's probably how the lens elements are and how they're finished yeah. off. Yeah, I mean the, the, the coatings. coatings. I yeah. think it's to do with yeah, the coatings. Okay. And yeah. well, that stops it being a professional lens for me yeah. because I couldn't use that in professional Well, they've obviously saved money somewhere, haven't they? Yeah. You know, talking yeah. broadly. But when it comes to image look and rendition, this mysterious image rendition we often go about. Yeah. It's very similar. I mean, did you notice much image rendition? No, I, no. again, I was looking at it on my phone and I thought they were very mm. similar. For, for whatever reason, I, as I said, I did think the Nikon was slightly nicer, but I couldn't, yeah. I can't really define that. No, I mean, it's only Whether by... it was the saturation or the colours slightly, but yeah. it's very, very marginal. I so. think it's, it's only by comparison you're really going to yeah, notice. Yeah, yeah. It certainly yeah. wasn't anything I'd bad about the lens, like colours and rendition that no. I had. Then it comes to focusing. So this is a, also a tricky one. In daytime like this, it's, it's fine. Right. It's slower than the Nikon, noticeably, but it, it's fine. Still it fast does it. enough, yeah. In lower light, it's really slow. Oh. Light. So I did a video test um, oh. in my bedroom with the curtains closed and it was took a long time to find focus right. whereas the Nikon lens was much quicker it's it's night and day <laughs> night and day does it meet your approval uh for 200 pounds yes it does get my stamp of approval for 200 pounds yeah if you compare it to the Nikon it doesn't no because it may be an unfair yeah 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 so if you're going to use it professionally if you need a 50 mil 1.8 prime to use professionally mm. you're probably going to have to fork out the extra money and get this yep. yeah but if you just want to walk around you want you fancy a 50 mil i mean it's a bit mm. not really wide enough for street necessarily but some people use 50 if you just want yep. a, a walk around 50 yeah i mean does it get your stamp of approval for the price I, again for the price yeah because you, you know there was very marginal difference between the mm. two but when you come down to like the flare and the, the focusing mm. issues in low light yeah um, etc then you know that's yeah, that's what you're paying the extra money for isn't it really yep. the better quality yeah. of this but I think for the wider context of this I mean this is their first autofocus lens right and it's a very small manufacturer yeah I think they made the wrong decision in choosing 50 millimeters yeah focal yeah we were talking about that earlier it would have been better to go for like a 35 or even a 28 mm. perhaps but because the 50s are well obviously yeah well it's my favorite focal lamp for my most used focal lamp so i yeah. get why they made 50. but the nikon 35 and 28 well there isn't really much competition no the 35 1.8 we don't like it. well i especially you don't, don't. Like it. i used it for a while and i didn't like the rendition didn't yeah, like the sharpness it was slower focusing yeah so if they made a 35 then yeah. it would be yeah it'd be Probably narrowing the gap comparison yeah i think it would be especially a 28 which i like using mm. so i wish they made it that instead because it's got such a hard... Well, perhaps I'll do that next. I think so. But yeah, congratulations to Seven Artisans for making this. I think it's good for the whole healthy competition. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. More choice is always good. Yeah. Would you buy it? Are you interested? Would it suit your use case or your, your needs or not? Uh, see you next time. See you next time. Yeah.